today I was able to make the Texas Transportation Museum's railroad crossing setup automatic on the approach of a train. I also received a request to keep the incandescent lights on this crossing setup and same with the mechanical bells but unfortunately the safe trans signal has plans to get new led gate lights and an electronic bell so that will be upgraded but i will keep the western colon hayes signal incandescent and have mechanical bells here's the next install i'm focusing on this is a gateless crossing signal and it will be protecting the cross traffic over here right next to the steam locomotive there is a lot of pedestrians that go from that direction across the tracks and i want to protect that with lights as well these main lights on this signal are protecting that direction of traffic and so i needed some extra lights pointed in that direction and this is my solution and I am still deciding on what kind of bell to get on the top of this one, but it has to have a four or five inch base mount or a four inch base mount. It cannot be only a five inch base mount because it will not fit. And that'll have cross bucks, a bell, and the main lights, and of course the signal base. And I'm going to show you the crossing signals now. I have with me right now a controller that can control these crossing gates instead of me having to do it all the way in the bungalow. And this is not typical on the railroad, but I can activate them with a remote. And back up. And from this side. And back up. How do gates get stuck while they're going back up? And when it is in the mostly up position, so about 45 degrees to the 90 degree position, if it is stuck anywhere around there, it is likely due to this. But I'm going to activate the signals and bring them quickly back up as soon as the gates start going down. And there we go. Now it is stuck in the mostly up position. And this has to be timed just right to happen. And I have no clue what's going on with the save trans signal over there with the lights i have never seen that before uh i don't know what's going on right there but anyways I, how to fix this is you can either bring it up manually which fits on the railroad just call a railroad employee or in this case i have the controller and i can activate the signals bring the gates down and all the way and then bring them back up and what actually happens is that there's not enough momentum to bring the gate back up and sometimes the Western Cullen Hayes gate mechanisms will actually jam in the downward position. So 
I'm going to activate them and bring the gates back up. And the problem is now fixed. All right, I'm at one of the approaches of the crossing signals. And I'm gonna walk down the track to make sure that the signals work. And I'm going to use the controllers this time around. So if the track system ever fails, I can use the controllers instead. All right, this red sign is where the signals should activate or right around here. This one has moved down a little bit further because the water tower is in the way. Anyways, this is the start of the track circuit. There's the end of the island circuit. So once the last car leaves that circuit, the gates will go back up. And I'm gonna continue walking down to this next approach sign. And now we have reached the end of the other track approach. And I'm going to start it all over again from this sign. We have reached the end of the island circuit. And what I'm doing right now is uh, making sure the train has enough time to activate the signals using the controllers. And I'm walking about the same pace as the train would be rolling right now if it were going down these tracks.
and I have reached the beginning of the approach where we were before.